Join Harold He on Caleb's Harvest Sacrifice coverage with Professor Buster DeCoote and this year's Sacrifice Queen, Betty Jo Fertilizer. Step up to the many tastes of Vino Brothers wine. There's Vino White. It's dry. At water, it's wet. At sugar, it's a spectacular sherry. Add ketchup and blow gently in the glass. It's a sparkling rosé. Vino Brothers, in the bottle shaped like a paper bag. The perfect wine for perfect people. He came from Los Angeles. She's been here all along. Now they're together in Kudzu County. It's the He and She Morning Show. The kudzu vine is the primary agricultural product of beautiful Kudzu County, whose motto, industry, agriculture, and sacrifice typifies the spirit of America's Green King County. The vine is worthless in its young, green state, but as harvest time approaches, it turns a devilishly appetizing red and turns fiendishly hard to harvest. But it's worth it. Stunned and roasted, it's a blue plate special. Smothered and beer battered, it's become America's favorite fast food. King Kudzu. We eat it, or it eats us. It's alive. You know, it's like, like that thing, you know, that they electrocuted in the movies. Harold, the thing was like a giant carrot that was out of control. Oh, and we can control the Kudzu. Yes, we can. All right, all right. Well, could you please tell me exactly how do we control the vine? By wedding it to a virgin tonight by the harvest moon. The professor here is one of the dozen dendrolators who put their lives on the line year after year performing this ceremony. That's right. You're one of the celebrants, right? So we'll be seeing a lot more of you later tonight. Uh, no, no, you, you won't. won't. I'll be wearing my hood. Okay, all right. You said that word again. Den dendrolator. Yes. Professor, what exactly does that mean? I still oh, don't... Such a common word down here. Dendrolator means bush worshiper. Well... We'll be with you all day covering this year's Harvest Festival. And I'll be sharing a recipe that's been in my family for over 200 years. I'll present a lifestyle close-up of the beautiful girl who's going to be giving away 18-year-old Betty Jo Fertilizer. We'll be right back. See you. Shop lifters, you're getting away with value. Listen to what Mrs. G86T91 of Honor Farm, Missouri says about value at shoplifters. I got away with over $130 worth of hams in my pants, and it only cost me 50 bucks in 60 days. Shop lifters, you're getting away with more food. This week's special squirrel squares from Road Ready Flat Snacks. Velcro macaroni sticks to the outside of your ribs and stupid Belgium waffle hats. Shop lifters, we give you a bigger head start. Remember, there's no long lines at our checkout counter because there are no checkout counters. We just follow you to your car and read you your rights. Shop lifters, the market that puts you away. Visit our seven convenient stores in King's Nose. Whoops. We're back. And Harold, we have a winner for this morning's trivial quiz. It's... Irma Oleander of Puttyville. And she has won a gift certificate for 12 decorator eggs from Verma's Cottle Cottage in Puttyville. Congratulations, Verma. And the correct answer is in, no, it, the first virgin queen back in 1795, oh really, my. was Goody Goostert. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, but I mean, are you kidding? Can you say that? Of That's course. what it says, folks. Carol, it's an old county name. I went to school with lots of goosters. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, do, uh, don't take, get me this wrong, folks. I'm new to this area, and I'm still getting yes, used you to are, your Harold. customs, all right? And I thought L.A. had a copyright on Gooky. But, I mean, this, this whole pageant... Ritual? All right, ritual of marrying a virgin to the kudzu to satisfy it. Well, look, I mean, she doesn't really have to be a virgin, does she? It's crucial. Oh, really? Well, you seem to know what you're talking about. Well, I should. When I was in high school, I was almost virgin queen myself. So, here's my profile for this year's Virgin Queen. We filmed this over all of last weekend, which gave me an opportunity to get to know, and I might say admire, this remarkable young woman from right here in Labyrinth, Betty Jo Fertilizer. <laughs> when you're a queen, it helps to be pretty, preppy, and peppy. And industry, agriculture, sacrifice. Kudzu counties looking nice. Rope and oil, food and wine. Where did they come from? The kudzu vine. Kudzu, kudzu, divine, vine, vine. Hey, Betty Jo, that was just great. Thank you. Oh, honey fertilizer, come on in here. What do you think of this little girl of yours, huh? Oh, I'm as proud as punch. And I brought her some. <laughs> here you go. Nothing beats a sweat like a kudzu cooler. There you are, sweetheart. Good. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> hey, what do you think of this mother, huh? I owe a lot to my mom. So she could never be harvest queener, or I wouldn't be here. And you know, I'm proud to make her proud. When you're a queen, it helps to be helpful. Has Betty Jo always been an outstanding young woman? Oh, Betty Jo is such a special daughter. She has so many responsibilities at school. A head cheerleader, a president of the Carnivorous Plant Society, oh. a cowbell and torch girl. She gets straight A's and still finds the time to be a virgin and help around the house. Mom. Well, you... Oh, look at this, Betty Jo. I'm afraid you got us pinned here. Oh, when you're a queen, it helps if dad's a king. Betty Jo's father, Bob Fertilizer, is president of the First Fertilizer Bank in Labyrinth. Tickets to the feast and dance? Hey, Red, I'll give you the moose discount when you give me the moose handshake. <laughs> Harold... I always wanted a boy who would take over the bank. But without Betty Joe's sacrifice, the Kudza would take over the bank and the whole damn county. The way it did in 36, when Thelma Preble chickened out at the last minute. What happened? The Kudzu covered the whole town. It tasted like cat shit for a year. Uh, Bob, you're going to miss your daughter, aren't you? Of course. We love her very much, but we have to think of it like she's going off to college. Looks like you were really spreading it around with the fertilizers, Harold. That's the art of the interview, Cheryl. And I'll be back up close with Betty Jo herself right after this. Stay tuned for more of He and She. Hello. Recognize these teeth? I'm Art Snob, speaking for Mr. Leonardo's Warehouse of Eternal Art. Move the Louvre to your own den or patio with this beautiful indoor, outdoor, all-weather art. These beautiful paintings are oil on astroturf by great masters, and each painting is signed by someone. All your favorite subjects are here. Bulls, panthers, clowns, hobos, sad-eyed orphans. Look at these. Panthers eating clowns. Orphans roasting hobos. Sad-eyed bulls goring, crying orphans. This is your rugged, year-round, indoor, outdoor, all-weather art, perfect for your patio, or under your car. Order now. This offer not good in states with active consumer fraud statutes. Have credit cards ready and speak slowly in a clear, normal voice. Well, Harold, it's been a busy week for Betty Jo Fertilizer. And it all began last weekend with a gala harvest party. Sounds like fun. It was. Oh, sure. The queen reigns for now. 
And tonight, the entire county is her court. But like Cinderella, at midnight, a week from today, the party will be over. But for now, we're celebrating here in the past Virgin's room of the luxurious General Bivalve Motel in picturesque Fort Oyster, where we're sleeping over today, and, and tomorrow you'll be doing what, Betty Jo? Cutting the ribbon at the new Shoplifters Market at the Haunted Shopping Mall, and then I'll be interviewed by the National Toilet while sitting for my portrait and statue at the County Museum. <laughs> you know, Betty Jo, I was on Los Angeles television uh -huh. for almost a year before I was sent down here. And we had festivals, we had parades. Well, you had the Olympics. That's right, we <laughs> did. But I have never seen anything like this. Now, can I ask you a personal question off the record? Well, certainly, Harold. I'd like to share my feelings with everyone. Good. Now, Betty Jo, this kudzu vine isn't going to eat you, is it? Eat me? Goodness, nobody ever said anything about me being eaten. Well, fine. What exactly is going to happen? According to the Book of Me, I'm to be embraced by the Divine Vine, transported to the Hall of the Kudzu King, where I will surrender my virginity to his tender tendrils, and live happily ever after. With the other Harvest Queens, the most popular girls in the county. So it is written. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what do you say we have some fun, huh? Oh, I'm having fun already. <laughs> well, good, but I know we've got to get you to bed pretty soon uh -huh. because you got to get up real early tomorrow morning. But first, <laughs> let's finish this champagne, oh. which has been sent over to our table by the high dendrolator himself, the Reverend Dr. Me, who wrote the Book of Me. Well, thank me for me, will you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will. But first, just let me say, here's to you, Betty Jo, the most beautiful girl I've ever seen and the bravest. Gee, Harold, thanks. I feel like we're in a dream. Some girl, huh? Yes, she'll be missed. But don't miss us when we return right after the Kudzu curfew... Later today... ...with our continuing coverage. See you then. Tomorrow, join Harold and Cheryl for a Kudzu breakfast. Over easy with he and she. Tonight, Dr. Me throws the book at Superstition. Now, I'm not asking you to believe in a book written by a bunch of babbling barbarians over 2,000 years ago. I'm asking you to believe in a book, some of which was written as recently as last night. This is fresh. How do I know? Hell, I wrote it. Who am I? I know who I am. I'm the Reverend Dr. Me. Chief Dendrelay, and the living word in Kudzu County for as long as I can remember. Remember what? What was I talking about? And you should remember to be watching later tonight when Dr. Me presides at the Harvest Virgin Sacrifice. Did you know there's a place just six feet under the earth where you go when you die? Where did you hear that? I read it in the toilet. Curious people want to know. John Kennedy's come back in a spaceship with a super new diet. Where did you pick that up? I picked it up in the toilet. Here's what you'll find in the toilet this week. Princess Di gave birth to a 65-pound show horse. There's more. Lynn's dating John Hinckley to make Warren jealous. And even more. I'm sleeping with Joan Collins. And I didn't even know it. Where did you read that? I read it in the toilet. The National Toilet. Put a quarter in the slot and we'll wipe the world for you. Hi, I'm Laura Quinn. We're gonna rock you right up to the sacrifice on Video Homework Party. We pop the hits that raise the zits in Kudzu County. And today I am so excited. Guess who we've got in the studio with us? He's sitting right here, right next to me, and smoking a cigarette. Yeah, you remember his concert last month at the Donut Drone? Well, I still can't hear anything. It's Eddie White Brains here to premiere his brand new rock video, Eat or Be Eaten. And you know, it's all about us. Eddie, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Oh, well, you know, uh, wrote it, uh, you know, recorded it, uh, video, well, you know. Well, it is about us, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's about this whole... Uh, damn county, you know, about sacrifice, you know, Betty Joe. You know. Well, now, I understand that you used to babysit for Betty Joe. 
<laughs> okay, all right, it's, it's true. Yeah, I did. She was, uh, you know, well, even then, you know, she never uh, let me, you know. Well, enough said, enough <laughs> said. Let's dig it. Premiere video, White Brains himself, eat or be eaten. <laughs> this program for this special report live from Sacrifice Central. I'm Harold Heath, and the kudzu is on the move. And Betty Jo Fertilizer is also on the move, on her way here to the studio in her daddy's armored truck. <laughs> is that really necessary, Professor DeCuth? Oh, yeah, Harold. Uh, the kudzu has a mind of its own. As you can see here on the map, we are already totally surrounded. So this uh, town curfew is no joke either. No joke. I just advise you to get your pets off the street. There's a first to go. But the other dendrolators are marching through the streets on their way here to the studio to join you in the ceremony. I mean, isn't, aren't they in some danger? Well, their torches and cowbells will keep the vine at bay. But why aren't you with them? Well, I have to be here, Harold, in case they don't make it. I know all the knots. Is it to keep her from running away? Oh, no. It's to make her more attractive to the kudzu. We have over two centuries of partially digested rope in the county museum. Partially digested? What? Oh, th uh, they're here. Uh, I've just been informed that uh, Betty Jo and her parents are here in front of the studio. Uh, Betty Jo, can you hear me? Harold, hi, how are you? Well, I'm fine. Uh, the important thing is, how are you? Well, to be perfectly honest... Don't, don't... be perfectly honest. She's perfectly fine. She's perfect. Harold, would you look at Mom and Dad? They're so nervous, you'd think they were being sacrificed. No way. <laughs> You're not having second thoughts, are you, Betty Jo? I never thought about anything twice in my life. Uh, what I mean, Betty Jo, is it, it's not too late, you know. If you want to... What? Come on, Mama, let's it go. It is too late? What do you... Oh. Oh, we're, we're, we're running out of time, so I'll be right back with a report from Cheryl Shee in the field after this. Stay tuned for more Sacrifice coverage on Kalim, the eyes of Kudzu County. Hello, hello, I'm Ed. And I'm Fred. Stiffner, the, the crazy, crazy commandos. commandos. An ordnance officer here at Ed and Fred Stiffner's Neighborhood Survivalist Gun Store. Hey, you want to build up your small arms, Mr. and Mrs. Scaredy Cat Suburbanite? Has your neighborhood become dangerous to live in because people with different names have moved next door? Well, you don't have to take it lying down. But if you are lying down, try our recoilless recliner designer rifle. Yeah, you don't have to leave the cozy comfort of your den to waste that rude intruder. Hey, Mooks, this week try our survival is special. It convites your disposable butane lighter into a friendly fire flamethrower. Great for bum and brush clearance around the house. Hey, eat death vagrants. So shoot first. And make friends later. At, At Stifters. Yeah, that was supposed to be my line. No, no, no. I say the line, then I give I you a wrote the on script. the arm. Hey, don't get in my face, Fred. I'll blow you. Well, we're back, and you can feel the tension in the air as the great mass of kudzu moves ever closer to the studio, and Cheryl She is keeping track of its progress. Cheryl, are you there? Yes, Harold, I'm out here at the old electric highway, and it's not a pretty sight. The road has been covered, and residents have been advised to flee the, the area. Perhaps Deputy Jeter, uh, Deputy Jeter, could, could you please come over here and, and shed a little a light on what's going on here? Well, the kudzu's moving a little faster than usual, Cheryl. As a matter of fact, it kind of caught Sheriff and Whistle by surprise. He was having a semi-burger down by the old donut drone, and all of a sudden, whammo, he's surrounded by kudzu. We're waiting for the flamethrowers to help get him out of there. 
and 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 you can see that the dandrelators are on the march, bells ringing, and they are sure of the fruits of vine behind them as they're led to the site of the sacrifice. And that means, Harold, that I really should get back to the studio so that you and I can continue this exciting harvest. Thank you so much. Oh, 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 oh. My God, Professor, that thing is eating her. Oh, don't worry. She's not a virgin. I know. Look, just get the weed vips and cut her out. Well, what do I do now? Shall I talk to the professor or the... Oh, back to, back to network? Oh, good barbaria thought. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, while we anxiously await the parade of dendrolators, which brings the kudzu to our very door, we'll return to our regularly scheduled program. I'm Harold He. Stay tuned. Professor, what would happen if, if, if Betty Jo were not a virgin? Oh, then it'd be 1936 all over again. The Kudzu would cover the town. Yeah. 36, I was caught in the basement of the seminary with Sister Refusio. Okay. By the but time they whipped us out, yeah. I was a different guy. What would happen? Uh, Carol. Yeah. Were those sheep glands that we were drinking in those glasses at the end of that flight? Well, Don, uh, sir, you did insist on ordering in the language of Barbaria, and the word for sheep glands is indistinguishable from the word for champagne. Well, I should have ordered Diet Cola. Oh, no. See, then you would have been executed. You see, the word for Diet Cola is indistinguishable from the word for assassination. Oh, be welcoming to Barbaria, infidel friends. Be telling me, what is the purpose for your visit to spy on us? This is the new ambassador. Oh, I am digging your jive as sweet a cakes. Uh, I'm here to take over the American embassy. Oh, that's lots of fun. My club and I do it every week. Men with underwear on their heads and lots of guns. <laughs> now, may I be seeing your luggage, please? This is the American ambassador. Oh. oh. The American ambassador. Well, hooray, hooray. Let's open all his luggage. <laughs> uh, I don't really think this is necessary. Oh, be keeping it cool, Mr. A. This is well, bro. Mr. A. Look at this Bonnaroo pair of underwear. Doesn't it make a fine hat on my head? <laughs> <laughs> Those are a gift from the American people. This could be a mistake. A gift? Well, let's party hearty. Do you have any whiskey, Mr. Ambassador? No, no. Good heavens, no. Oh, what a shame. Well, here, have some of mine. No. No. I accept this on behalf of the American people. Good. I just squeezed it from my sheep this morning. <laughs> Oh, a sheep shower. The rainy season starts early in Barbaria. I'm afraid I'm not allowed to accept gifts. I could challenge you to a diet cola. She must be sacrificed. She must be bound. Yea, how is she to be trusted? Hell, if we trusted her, we wouldn't have to tie her up. After the sacrifice, pig out with Dr. Me and the Dendrolators at the Kudzu Luau, here on Kalim. And now we take you to the site of the Kudzu Harvest Virgin Sacrifice with your host commentator, Harold He. All have gathered here for the... the wedding ceremony. Except for Cheryl. Uh, she's uh, still buried in the kudzu. Now, I saw it happen, and that, that thing just lashed out at her. I mean, if... The streets are clear of beasts and bombs. The kudzu hears the bells and comes 200 yards. And so, it begins. <laughs> she is fit to be tied. She is Betty Jo, the chosen one. Bound with the nuptial knots. Her bouncing breasts are entwined with a stunner hitch. A sheep shank 
and a cuckold's neck, as it is written. Is the Virgin ready? Well, yes and no. You see, there is this one thing. When I was at the motel with Harold, you'll see Which we were on... at the parking lot? 40 yards and closing. Okay, okay. Uh, they want me to say something here about uh, industry, agriculture, and sacrifice. But let me tell you something. I don't know what's going to happen to this girl. But I'm going to tell you this. I am not going to let it happen. Okay, let's stop this right now. All right, just, just stop it. You're all crazy. Let's untie this girl. You don't understand. It's too late. I have to go through with this. Bob Fertilizer, help me. It's your daughter. Help! It's my bank! Hey, Doc. The Kutsu just made a snack of your Cadillac. I'm history. I'm getting the hell out of here, me. Turn you to stone. Oh, oh look, look, the party pooper. Hey. Are we on? We're on. Oh, oh. Uh, it is written. Is it written? Uh, I'll write it later. The county has been saved for another year. Betty Jo Fertilizer has been taken to the hall of the Kudzu King. It is over. <laughs> here in West Los Angeles. Beautiful, beautiful. And we're watching the marvelous traffic parade. The traffic parade. There it goes. Oh, I Hello, wanted that folks. Mercedes, sweetheart. Oh, we'll get that for you after the show. <laughs> okay, honey. <laughs> oh, there goes a plumber. The plumber. Oh, we need the Stop. plumber, sweetheart. Stop. Go. Honey, oh, New house, honey, you know? little Sarah Jo's kicking, sweetheart. Oh, oh a star oh. is born. Oh, right out. here on TV. Can you see her? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh she my. is. She's going to be a dancer, I think. Oh, I think so, sweetheart. Well, we got a wonderful show for you today. Yes, we're out today here. We do. In the last remaining corner of Pud Park, where the, Park. the you know the buildings are going up like crazy, uh, and some pretty crazy buildings are going up oh. too, I might say. But anyway, uh, we're going to be interviewing Mrs. Bagladian. Yes. It's right over there. Hello, Irma. Sweating. Hello, Go sit in the shade, Irma. You don't have to sit out in the yes, sun, honey. honey. Hello. Hello. Uh, anyway, she became an instant millionaire because she invented this cantaloupe bank. Yes, and it is such a simple idea. Well, all you have to do is drop the coins in until the bottom falls out. That's right, just like the economy. Yes, sweetheart. But but first, I will be continuing my coverage and com completing my series on Kutu County Dick I want to point out to you, to those of you who may not have seen the show, that my beautiful young wife here actually comes from Kutu County. Yes, I do, sweetheart. And you'll be happy to know that Mom and Dad, you know, yeah, they, dug out. they were dug out yep. just last fall. They certainly were. They're going to be staying with us at our new home. Well, I guess they have a right. They do have a right. Your father certainly has a left. Oh, honey, that still hurts. I'm sorry. Huh. But first, we should tell you, we'd actually like to share with our audience that next week we're going to be doing uh, tapes on our honeymoon. Edited. Of course, edited. From the beautiful... But barbaric. ...country of Aruga. You will watch me as I launch a lunchtime attack against the Loyalist radio station. Oh, he does. And, and I will be watching the Baker's Parade from the President's helicopter. Oh, and honey, they're not going to want to miss the shopping spree that we had at the uh, old military market in Puerto yes. Dork. Puerto Dork. Keep it down over there, please. We're trying to do a show TV here. TV show here, <laughs> yes. 
Thank you, thank you. And, and, and honey, the, the Cuban, yes, that hat. Yes, the hat, the human skull. No, 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 it's not a human skull, sweetie. It was a Cuban advisor hat. You're right the first time. That's what they told me. Anyway, I, they don't argue with that, man. Whatever. Shopping can be so much. When you're the only one with money. <laughs> yes, and we certainly are. But, but honey, first, it is time to play Cash and Flash. Cash and Flash. Uh -huh. Cash and Flash. And today's question, how much money is it worth today?